Hey everybody, it's Multiplastic Gamer here, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. And I'm back with another percentage update before we move on to World 5 of the game. Um, we're at 54% of the game, we have 110 golden bananas, and about 18 hours of gameplay. So yeah. And we're ready to move on to World 5. Again, I'm not going to say what it's called until we get there, because that would be spoiling. And you guys know how much I hate spoiling things in the games I play. Especially for people who don't really know much about the game. Anyways, jump into the cannon. And right up here is the... Is this a random floating island? And in the front here we have a dirt pile. Alright, so now... World 5 is located within this tiny little shack. Yeah. Can you believe they fit an entire world of Donkey Kong 64 inside a tiny little shack? Well, they did the same thing with Angry Aztec, actually. That was also inside a tiny little shack. Um, to access the... It's kind of weird how you access the Wrinkly Kong doors in this lobby. What you do is you actually switch between them by using this, uh... This little switch here with, uh, Donkey Kong. Yeah, that's how you, that's how you do it, so yeah. I say so yeah a lot, don't I? Yeah, I need to stop that. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I'm not really gonna do anything in the lobby yet until... I think I'll just wait until later to do more, you know, overworld missions. But until then, let's just move on with, uh, World 5. You need 50 golden bananas to get in here, and we have way more than enough for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, this is the Fungi Forest, okay? World 5. And as if that cutscene... If that cutscene doesn't make, you know, Lanky look awesome enough, I don't know what does, okay? I just have to say that. Okay, so sorry not. This is the main hub of the world, as you can see. Um, we have... I believe four of the banana port pads are here. So pretty much from here, once you activate all the banana ports, you can easily access the other areas of the level. And uh, there's not really much to it though, but going up here, you will we will learn about the main gimmick of this world, which is there is actually a day and night system here in the Fungi Forest. So what you do is you go up here, and you can switch between day, day and night by pulling out your shooter, and Right now it's daytime, as you can see it's noon. Well, if you hit the night switch, then it'll switch it to midnight, so it'll be nighttime basically. Gotta love that little uh, bird or whatever. That cuckoo bird or whatever. I don't know what it's called. So yeah, um, there are some missions that you can only do at nighttime, some missions you, you can only do during the daytime. But most of the missions can only be done during the daytime, so I think for the most part we're going to start off with just daytime, daytime missions, so we're going to switch back to daytime, and we're going to get started on the level now.
but yeah, that's pretty much the gimmick of of this level. Remember, the gimmick of World Four was that um, raising the raising and lowering the water level, but that that was pretty much it. Now, um, first thing you're going to run into, um, first is get uh, Tiny out. Cause I want to go through here first of all. And pull out her, her shooter. I'm gonna put down this uh, gate here. Bring down the gate. Going through here, we got some bananas for Tiny. Look at this! Now we have to go switch between switch to Chunky. So yeah, this is uh, one of the things I don't like about Fungi Force. That you're constantly have to, having to switch between Kong, so that gets annoying after a while. But other than that's at least a little more, you know, less repetitive than Gloomy Galleon was. Not that I hate Gloomy Galleon anymore, but still. It's still a repetitive episode no matter what. You know what, bug? I mean, a bee? I think you've done enough annoying me. For now. Then we're gonna have to get Tiny out just to get this one banana here. So I think we'll do that now. Well, actually, no. Um, first of all, in here, please help me. Those awful tomatoes have eaten all my friends, and I'm the only one left. I'll give anyone a nice banana who can sort them out. So we're supposed to figure out a way to kill these uh, these tomatoes that are popping out of the ground now. Trust me, these guys are really annoying unless you can figure out a way to kill them, and I'll explain- I'll demonstrate that now. And also, this is where Funky is, and he actually does have an upgrade for us right off the bat, here in World 5. But first, I want to get rid of these tomatoes. So what you have to do is, when you're Hunky Chunky, just jump on them. Or stomp on them, I should say. We go. Oh, what a relief, you know. I don't like it here anymore. It's always raining. Take me to a nice sunny spot somewhere else, and the banana's yours. Hey, you promised to give us the banana once we killed the tomatoes, okay? Wow. Are you serious? Ugh. Yeah, you won't watch out for that um, bee as well when you're going through there. Careful now, Chunky. I don't want any bruises. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so take a left when you enter here, and there should be a painting of an apple on the on the ground. And there you go. Wow, this is a nice area. I could definitely get get to like living here. Oh, the banana, you say? Silly me. Here you go. Whoa, I jumped her in the cutscene. Don't see that every day. And with that, we already have our first golden banana here in Fungi Forest, so we're good to go for now. Okay, I think next I'm going to get Funky's upgrade, because that would be good to do. We're actually going to be needing Funky's upgrade for many missions in this level, so definitely want to get that out of the way earlier on. Don't ask why I'm using Donkey Kong for this. Yo, Donkey, hit me with five coins and upgrade your shooter. Give me the word, huh? Yeah, sure. All Kongs, homing ammo. Basically, when you shoot the homing ammo, it will go straight for the enemy that is closest to it. Listen to this, Donkey. All the Kong shooters now pack homing shots. Collect some red supply crates and start blasting. And that's pretty much it now. So yeah, now we have homing ammo, but we can't 
Well, we st first we have to find some uh, some red crates first. Um, okay, let's get Tiny out now because we have some bananas to get with her. Are you kidding me? Okay, so yeah, just so you know, those tomatoes do respawn real fast, so... Yeah. And don't worry, won't forget that one banana in that tunnel there with Tiny. Okay, next, going over here, there is going to be a mission for Tiny here later on. And a dirt pile as well. There's also a Tiny Barrel right here, but you can't do anything about it just yet. Hmm, this ground looks a bit bare. I wonder if I can find anything to plant? So we're gonna take Tiny's advice and we're gonna wait a while until we find something to plant there. And then that'll be another mission for Tiny later on, but for now, there's nothing left to do in here. Oh, and if you see a gate like this with a moon with a moon symbol on it, that means that you cannot access this part unless it's nighttime. And there are since there are some coins in there for Chunky, we will come back here and get those. But for now, we are pretty much done with this room right here. Until we, you know, come back here with uh, the seed or whatever that Tiny needs to plant. <sighs> okay, what am I gonna do next? Um, why don't we get... no. I was gonna say get Lanky out, but we already have Lanky out. Okay, that's for Diddy Kong. And we need Donkey Kong to get those bananas there. Okay, now... So this is another big area that has a lot of golden bananas for every Kong. And... Pretty much, uh, this world is divided into, into a bunch of, you know, smaller rooms. Well, actually, there are some rooms in here, in this world, that are really big. And they have a lot of golden bananas throughout them. But for the most part, that's pretty much, uh, Fungi Force in a nutshell. Just a bunch of smaller rooms that make up a really big world. Or areas, I should say. Not necessarily rooms. Oh, that's not tiny. I guess swore that um that banana balloon looked uh, purple from where it was. We've already got the first 10 bananas for Daycon, I shouldn't say already, because we're like 14 minutes into the world, so... Hmm. Okay, so I think we're gonna end things off here, because I think we made good enough progress for the first episode of Fungi Forest. So let's um, get Chunky out, and I want to end off this mission, I mean, uh, not this mission, this episode, by going to the location of our next mission that we're going to start off next episode with, with uh, Chunky. So 
So we got this huge uh, mushroom well here, and we gotta get these three coins real quick. And let's just say that we're gonna be starting off the next episode by throwing Chunky into the well instead of a coin. Get it? I don't either. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the for episode uh, 48 of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. I'm Multiclass Gamer, signing out. See you guys next episode. Bye.